on Wednesday mornings, I'm doing a um, uh, workout classes, I guess. Uh, we started a fitness ministry at our church here in Georgetown, Kentucky. And so 9 o'clock, so I have to be there like in 20 minutes. Um, workout classes, we're actually doing country heat. So I'm making my breakfast on the go because I don't have time. Hey, Mary Virginia. I hope to see you in a few minutes. Um, so I'm making my breakfast on the go. Hey, Amber. So I am a little all over the place. So what do you expect? So let me grab all my ingredients. And I was like, you know what? I need to do this. So I might as well hop on live because this, um, for those who know, uh, know, I have been trying to experiment with some different pumpkin spice recipes. Hey, Jesse, And this is one that I like so far, but this is still tweaked to what I've already done before. So... I'm just trying some different things to see what I like and what I don't like. So, um, let me grab some ice. And seriously, guys, this helps me. Morning, Amber. Drinking my shake right now. See you soon. Awesome, Mary Virginia. I'm so excited. I love getting together and just, you know, dancing with other people and getting healthier. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So, um... This morning, I'm going to do a cleanish version of the pumpkin spice latte. Hey, Liv. Morning, Jesse. And um, so, I've tried some different things um, so far. Last night, I tried a pumpkin cheesecake. Mm, it was kind of a fail. I, when I'm trying these new recipes, I really should measure so that I know how to tweak it because you know I don't usually measure, which reminds me, I need to grab a tablespoon. Because I need to measure. Um, so, um, so yeah. But something new that I have not tried before in my shakes. This is completely new. Um, let me make this really good. Is this unsweetened coconut? I guess coconut milk. I've never tried it before. Yeah, and it's pretty much coconut milk. It's got some other like vitamin B's and stuff added to it. Some, um, some gums and stuff like that. But. Has anyone tried this? Like, what are your thoughts on this unsweetened coconut milk? Morning, Dinah. Morning, Liv. So, I am very curious to try this in my shake this morning. So, that isn't what makes it dirty, <laughs> the cleanish part. I will get to that in a second. So, yeah, you can tell I haven't even opened this yet. So, I'm really excited to try this. I don't even know if it will make a big difference. And I actually froze this, so I'm sure the consistency will be a little different. Um... So we're gonna put about, eh, I always put more water or more liquid than what they call for because I, I think that like the flavor of Shakeology is pretty, not necessarily strong is the word, but like I can add extra water and it's not gonna down, down the taste or whatever. Hey, Donna. Um, so we're gonna add some of that extra unsweetened coconut milk, coconut milk. So if you've tried this, let me know what your thoughts are. This is my first time trying the unsweetened coconut milk. And if you go to Starbucks, like they charge you extra for coconut milk. I don't know if you know that. And that's not like a must for me, but I wanted to try it. And I've tried some before there and it's just it's pricey. Hey, Gabriella. Morning, Terry. Um, I'm surprised as many people are hopping on this morning. I honestly expected like, oh, I'll just throw together a quick video. And there might be one person. <laughs> almond coconut blend is awesome. I haven't tried just the coconut. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've tried the almond coconut or not. But we'll see. So I've got about a cup of ice. I've got about a cup, cup and a half of this unsweetened coconut milk. My scoop of cafe latte. Oh, this stuff is amazing when it comes to wanting like... Um, like, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but, like, that sort of flavor to it. And then, here's the dirty part, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Look what I have. Oh, my gosh, there's a lot of people hopping on. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Christina. This is the dirty part, okay? So, if you're not into this, that's totally fine. Get some real pumpkin. Get about a quarter cup of pumpkin. Um, and use that instead. That's basically the only difference. Um, where I am, and you know, and I'm totally fine with that because it is healthy. 
um, and there's some good ingredients in pumpkin. And um, But this is what I'm using today because I'm in a rush. This is pumpkin pie. It does have Splenda in it. So if you're trying to stay from away from artificial sweeteners, you don't want this. But I allow this in my meal plan in small amounts. So I actually got this, got the little pump on there. And I'm not for sure how much is in each pump. So that's why I have my, my um, ah, I got my tablespoon. So it's not quite a tablespoon for each pump. So I'm just, oh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get with me. Almost a tablespoon, but not quite. So, um, that was almost two tablespoons. You think I should do another or is two pretty good, you think? Let's do two. We'll taste that real fast and see if we need to add another. All right, and then I do have some pumpkin pie spice because I do love the nutmeg and the cinnamon. If you don't have this, just throw in some cinnamon and some nutmeg, like just a dash of it. It doesn't really matter. Remember, we don't really, that's not a dash, is it? We don't really measure them. Because who's got time for that, right? Ain't nobody got time for that. Close your ears. What if I can get this in my... See, I rush and then it takes me longer because I'm like discombobulated. Some of it sticks to the side. Hey, Selena. So let's. Ugh. I've noticed I have a tendency to add too much um, ice, so therefore it's like a slushy instead of a, a frappe or something. Oh gosh, I gotta go. Oh my gosh. Okay, two pumps of this is quite a bit. Hey, Nicole. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Like, I really appreciate that. Like, you have no idea. Like, when... Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Because sometimes I'm like, who wants to listen to me? Who wants to watch me be all crazy and throw things together and not know what the heck I'm doing? And, you know, and actually come back for more. So, um, so what I'm going to do... This is really good as is, but what I'm gonna, cause I added a, <gasps> yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more of the coconut milk cause I did add um quite a bit. I mean, it's still pretty good, but I wanna add a little bit thinner just for my preference this morning. I'm gonna add some unsweetened coconut, coconut milk, but okay, now see, okay. Let me back up. So I have the new iPhone 7, which is what I'm recording on the front camera, just so you know. And I don't have my new case for it. So you, when I turn around and you see the other side, like if you get the iPhone 7, you cannot use an iPhone 6 case because this is what will happen. Not the spill, that's the spill. But see how it's like discolored on the side here? That's because my case is coloring up the, the screen. So I gotta order another um, case. But anyway, so let me turn it around. That is what just happened. And it looks like vomit because where it was frozen and thawed out. I don't care what it looks like, but let me clean that up. Sorry. Guys, this is what you're going to get with me. Like, I just, I try to hurry and I don't pay attention. And then we get messes. So, let me add a little bit more of the unsweetened coconut milk. And really, you could add water if you wanted, but why do that? Because I want it a little bit thinner just because of what my preference is right now. And I have found that the pumpkin spice here is a little sweet with two pumps. So I think if we send it out some, it will be a little bit better. Mm, that's good. So if I'm going to do the two pumps, I need to make sure I'm doing extra liquid. Hey, Heather. 
So let me go over. Welcome to my crazy life. Ah, I need to go. So I'm not late. Let me grab a Shakeology cup so I can take it to go. And for those who don't know how I store all my Shaco cups, hold on, because I don't want to turn my camera around because I've got the wrong case. I store them on a shoe, or okay, is that a shoe, that's not a shoe case. A shoe organizer on my garage door. Hey, Phyllis, morning, Heather. So that's how I organize all of my cups. And they're all over this house, it's ridiculous. And Nick has some at his office and they're everywhere. But that's how I store them and it's awesome. So I'm gonna go over here and set this back up. I'm going to pour it here so I can take it to go. And honestly, I take my shaker, the Nutribullet cup all the time, but I want a lid for this. And this is delicious, guys. If you're willing to have, you know, a little bit of sweetener, like a splenet in your meal plan, I do recommend these. I kind of went crazy, and I ordered a ton of different bottles off of Nutrition. So you will see more of these different flavors in a lot of my recipes. Just because I've tried to figure out what would be best for me. And I still need to, I love Whole Foods, don't get me wrong, but... I'm so realizing that where I have been diagnosed as a diabetic in the past, a lot of times it's much better for me to still cut out the sugars, um, even if they're they're natural. So I do limit my sugar, or I, I limit my fruit, sorry. And that's just for me. For you, Splenda may not react well with you, and you may want to do the pumpkin, or you may want to do, you know, a bunch of fruit instead of like a something that's, you know, like fake or whatever um and you gotta do best what's best for free so if you don't want to do the pumpkin pie this do like a quarter of a cup of pumpkin or half a, pump, a cup of, of pure pumpkin puree not the pumpkin pie filling hey becky hey amber and just go from there but seriously not bad for a cleanish version and it's going to be cheaper than starbucks and if I wasn't recording a video and not super scatterbrained, it would have taken me less than five minutes to get it done. Quicker than going through a drive-thru, heck of a lot healthier. So, I call it win-win. So, guys, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Um, it's, I just, yeah, I love it. So, I'm going to hop off here. If you are in Georgetown or Central Kentucky, come by the church at Harmony at nine o'clock here in just a few minutes and come dance with me i want to dance with you guys all right so i'm gonna hop off here thanks for hopping on and watching my random ramblings and my crazy thoughts and i will talk to you later bye guys